Now looking at lanthanides and actinides. Now these are quite hidden, they're below the periodic table, quite detached. Now here we have the green ones, the lanthanides on the top, and we have the actinides on the bottom here. So those are the two separate groups in your, or separate rows in your periodic table. And the number of electrons in the fourth and the fifth shell increase from 18 to 32. So there's a definite exception in these. It in increases from 18 to 32, that's quite a lot. That's doubling its value almost. And you can see that it's the fourth and the fifth shell. So they do, um, they follow the pattern of the transitional metals group. And then what happens is from, for the, from the fourth and the fifth shell, they show another increase. And group number and valence shell. So these are how they are defined. For elements in the main block, their group number is equal to the number of electrons in the valence shell. So I mean, that means how many electrons in the valence shell would define their group number. Examples is that group 7 elements have 7 electrons in their val val valence shell. So the normal valency of these non-metallic elements is minus 1 for ionic compounds. Now that means it has 7, that's plus 7, but if you take, we're only taking, we have to give away 7 electrons. It's too hard to give away 7 electrons, so what they do is they take in 1 electron. That's why it's minus 7 and you can see the negative charge on the electron. Now just summing up what we learned, we learned about some trends in the periodic table. So we looked at how each of the groups are classified and how each of the peri periods are classified. And we looked at also lanthanides and actinides.